<laughs> I've never heard a bird in my life. I sit in this room all day, every day. No nature to be seen. And in my defense, okay, it's very late at night. I don't know what a bird sounds like at the best of times. It's on RimWorld Generations. It's worth me possibly pointing out, in fact, that I am pre-recording episodes because I'm away Friday, Saturday, Sunday. What day is it today? I don't know. Probably... Uh, Sunday, presuming things are going well. In yesterday's Rim Rim, I built an enormously over-complex castle for the purpose of training super soldiers and then complained that it took too long to build. He also invented magic swords that I would build at my arcane crafting bench if I had one. He also have the ability to research faster at an advanced research bench if I had one. And other such jokes and platitudes about not having enough medieval components. That's right, today my big enemy is the medieval component. I woke up in a cold sweat this morning and I saw it. I saw it at the end of my bed, staring me down. And to catch you all up quickly, for those of you who maybe faded away from yesterday's episode, the colony is full of old people. Everybody above stench is older than 54, and that is almost everybody in the colony. In fact, everybody above uh, stench the second is old as fuck, to be honest. We're in a lot of trouble. So in my infinite grace and wisdom rim rims, I have bestowed upon this colony the greatest gist, gist, gist of all, death. No longer will you in an early medieval age where you uh, roll around in the dirt all day and avoid being murdered, live to the age of 83. Because that doesn't make any sense. Don't you start quoting to me, oh, infant mortality. Actually, they lived old. No, they didn't. Go look it up. I do not give a shit what Michael V. Source has told you. It's apocryphal. Much like these nuts. What are you wearing? Oh, you look cool with that. It, you've kind of put it under your rock, which is hideous. Hey, you're not allowed to ride the rocks. You're, you're just a fella. Should I just recruit this guy? I said he was going to work off his debt, and then I never let him leave. I'm not gonna let, I'm just going to give you full citizenship. I'm sorry. I feel awful. I can't let him go now. His people might not even recognize him. Oh, you are unwaveringly loyal. I remember now. Well, back to work for you then. <laughs> I don't want to be too cruel. What I'm going to do instead is give him a sliver of hope that something in his life might finally be changing, and then I'm going to have him do exactly what I did before. I think that's legally torture. Pretty sure telling a prisoner you're going to release them is actually against the Geneva Convention. <laughs> War crime simulator. <laughs> Maybe do something creative with this game, huh? Stop being a meme lord and enjoy what you've been given. A gift, a colony simulator, a story generator. Of infinite creativity here. It's a Lego set of your imagination and you use it to steal organs and build real life American guns. What the fuck's wrong with you? I, sorry, I don't know where that came from. I've been recording Rimworld a long time, okay? I've got a lot of pent up frustration. Just generally at the world. Hey, we can make slate now. Sorry, steel, shale, steel? <laughs> Who am I? I can finally write down the name of this bloody castle so I stop forgetting. Hey, what happened to my other goose statue? Did you make them? Ah, uh, goose statue. What happened? Make a large sculpture. What the fuck are you playing at, co-pilot? Shouldn't have to ask twice for a big old statue of a goose. Did I take you off of it? Oh, shit, this might be my fault. I might have accidentally taken you off of artistic. Where is artistic? Oh, no. Oh, no, this is my bad. This is totally my fault. I'm sorry. I can only apologize. So to cut a long story short, basically, we're totally stalled until we get those medieval components, right? So we need that to build the research bench, the arcane table, blah, 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 blah. That'll fulfill all my hopes and dreams. We might as well be doing something, though. Um, We can finally invent bows. We can finally invent bows. I mean, it's a little late for that. You had your chance. Advanced cooking lets us make cheese soup that sounds absolutely disgusting and i love cheese let's go for mangonels to honor the memory of our original founding colonist chuck rock that uh, chuck rock thank you <laughs> and you know what goes really well with mangonels some big old towers or maybe we should wait until we built castle what i call it care more hen that's it you see it's a pun because we're, we're goose people because remember disaster was goose born yeah it all ties together i have defiled nature <laughs> <laughs> okay, stop cutting the trees. Like, we're good now. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're fine. What are you doing to me? What do you mean you're fed up with civilization? The stars are aligned against me. I can't do anything about that at all. That is some bullshit. But simultaneously, I mean, we can reform, and I plan on doing something about that literally in a second. Hold on. But animal personhood, though. What are you doing harvesting my strawberries, you piece of shit? What am I going to do here? I could shoo her away. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's do it. She's an animal and we have animal personhood. Can I even retame you? I mean, I can. 
I mean, I could retame you, but you've chosen to be an animal. So how... I mean, it seems a bit rude if I do this. You also might turn on me and kill me dead. You're also a bit shit. <laughs> I'll be honest. I was looking at your 15 mining and I thought, no, I still need you around, but... 40% manipulation. You're missing an arm. You've got a bad back. Retire. Honestly, live your life. Enjoy your retirement. Thank you for visiting. And honestly, the second you leave the map, you're going to live much longer anyway, because we seem to be affected by a strange magic that makes everybody age faster. And I'm just not sure why. <gasps> oh my god. Dina is pregnant. Hold on, though. We've got free loving still approved in the colony. Something I'm going to change along with the astrology bullshit. Dina. That, to me, looks like it might be a Dina a stench fling mecha nugget booze axe bungus child. Show me. Oh, can I see that? Well, no. Deadlift booze axe bungus with your, was your uncle. How does that work? Oh, no. What do you mean he was your uncle? Father is chicken robo. Brother is ungus potato. Who is your mother? Roxanne. Your mother's Roxanne. That's the wrong character. Oh, my God. I was so confused then for a second. <laughs> Who's the father? It is, in fact, mecha nugget Boozax Bungus. The dynasty lives on. After all of those daughters Ungus and Chuck had, none of which had kids, only to be saved at the last minute by Roxanne, and then in turn to be saved at the very last minute by Mecha Nugget. Thank you. Thank you. Now please put some freaking clothes on. Oh, it looks like Dean has hoarded them all. God, that's a good look, though. I like this stuff a lot. Don't get me wrong. Let's just do a reroll for now and see what else we've got. Arcane defenses. What the hell is even this? A gemstone pylon. Well, we haven't got rubies, emeralds, or sapphires, as far as I know, but I've never done it before. We could bake a pie. Hold on. Magic lasers made with gems is one thing, but a pie is a whole other. Oh my god, not you too. Okay, hold on, though. Co-pilot, you've been here for ages, and you're still really good? You haven't got anything wrong with you? Oh my god, 71 as well. Yeah, no. No, this is not happening. Get someone taming her. What the hell do you mean, Ran Wild, because of recreation? I'm giving you six hours a day, you shits. Let me guess, you don't want to play the drum, huh? Well, I got a, I got a conga drum right there. What's wrong with that? I got this thing. That's just a drum with... Okay, this is another kind of drum, really, isn't it? Okay, okay, maybe I should build some recreation. I get it, I get it. We've actually got plenty of stuff I can slap down now. So we can throw down, like, a bunch of various different games, and they will play it while they eat din-dins. <laughs> that was easy. Hello! Direct co-pilot back to the community. Come on, co-pilot, stop pissing around. Oh, I've got to redo your jobs now. You're so selfish. Come on, co-pilot, back in the quarry all day, every day. This castle isn't going to build itself. I just don't understand why you left in the first place. Isn't this a lovely life? This is the greatest fun anyone's ever made, and it's purely from circumstance. That's right, the castle in the witch is called Care Moran, and I'm calling it Care Morhen because it's the goose school and they're both waterfowl. Morhen, like that. God, I'm a genius. That's just amazing. <laughs> oh my god. Gert Bungus at the biological age of 85 has reached old age. This is it. This is the end of Gert Bungus. Oh my friend. Like 85 though? Jesus, I can't complain about that at all. You should have died way earlier than this. <laughs> I've got a colony full of... It's a retirement home. It's not a colony. If raiders turn up, they can just push us over. Hey, we've got baking. I think we've got to re-roll and go for something important again. Look, universal cabinet, early medieval medicine. They're good. Oh, don't do that shit. Uh, they're good. Don't get me wrong. Rustic storage. Oh, my God. Advanced agriculture. Oh, man. Look at all of this stuff, though. You know, I was thinking to myself, you know what we need? Uh, more storage? <laughs> New lovers. Stench cat and Andrea. Wait, uh, uh, Andrea is a big old jellyfish lady. Surely that doesn't work with regular fertility too? Maybe it does. Who knows? Horrifying. Absolutely horrifying if true. <laughs> what, a, what a mixture. Oh my god. That is a lot of words. Too bad I ain't reading them. Do you think we got enough storage yet? Even now, things are going to be a horrible, horrible mess. I can see what it happens. Hey, the castle's already done. Although, I'm just thinking about this. We, we did this in Generations 1, right? Had a city, and then we moved out to a castle in the medieval times. We're not going to move out to the castle, just to clarify. This is only for the elitist of the elitist Gooseborn. But, I mean, shit, I think this gives Ohm's castle a run for its money. You listen in, Ohm? You piece of shit. You, you aesthetically challenge moron. The you versus the guy she tells you not to worry about type of moment. Look at this place. It's like a goddamn palace compared to that piece of shit castle from before. I'd fist fight, Ohm. Oh my god, what is happening? Stars are aligned against me. Again, ruthless, ruthless, ruthless. No, 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 no. No, 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 cower. Just, just get him captured. No, cower? 
Don't go back in the fucking hot spring, you moron. Pop you in the prison. We'll let you out when you feel a little better. There you go. Everything's fine. Okay, first things first, then. Let's have a bit of a... Actually, our things off of cooldown. That's what I was waiting on. Oh, some of them are. That'll do. Okay, let's kick off with all of our celebrations. Go in with as many points as possible. And I think astrology can uh, get these nuts. And then I also think... What was the other one? Free loving. Free loving can get out too. Fun bunga celebration taking us up to 33 points. Is this too many? We get to keep them, right? I'm not going mad. They've all put on the same type. There's like a few people with hoods. We've got like a, a very small select group of people with hoods. And then everyone else is slapped on these Ronin gasser. I didn't want this many. It's my bad. I should have put the limit on Ruthless. What are you doing this time? You're going to go smash a wall? Should have put a limit and said, do until we've got to and count what we've got equipped. Because this is like too much. Everybody looks the same. Do we need anybody converted? Oh my god, we still have one person I forgot to convert. You know what? I'm just going to hit you with the magic stick. And kapow. Look at that. Very easy. Okay, so that should, that should get rid of the diverse thoughts modifier, right? The truth is so pure and obvious, yet there are some around us captured by evil. It's abhorrent. Who's captured by evil? What did you just smash? Did you actually smash something then? A bloody fence post. Oh my god. It's anemone. <laughs> I can't say that. Surely a face that sweet and innocent wouldn't be captured by evil. Ugh. Awful to look at. That's horrifying. Let's see that in a mirror. Okay, I think later speech reformation. Then we'll put this off. I wanted to bank as many points as possible because I did whatever I want with it, but good. Gert, you ever heard of trousers? Why are you not wearing trousers? Oh my god, look at how many trousers we've got. This is Gert's own choice. I haven't forced any outfits on them. So Gert just wants to be free. Free and feeling the wind breeze. 39, that'll do. Okay, I think we're done now. I think we're done. Right, first things first then. We don't need astrology. I said this when Chuck and Ungus were still alive. Fuck your astrology. There's only one thing we need, and it's not the stars. It's not the sky. It's on this It's on this earth. All four hoofs are on this earth, and it's the goddamn rocks. Get the hell out. Astrology, friendship ended. I don't care about dictated by the stars, because it's all crap, okay? Collectivist animal person with Bushido. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I feel like we have slid towards a more militaristic society, but to be fair, we've had our cheeks clapped multiple times. How could we not? Next thing, free loving. How about you piss off? Spouse only? Strict, moderate, mild. What if we just say... I guess spouse only. Oh, but that seems like so restrictive to go from free and approved up to like spouse only. It's kind of nuts. I almost wish that the fluid reformation was a bit more like... A bit less fluid. So you go from like free and approved to free and then move up from there. Seems a bit weird being able to like completely flip the script, but fair enough. Um... Spouse only moderate. Let's go spouse only mild then for the timing. That's okay. I'm going to put recreation back on the menu. We, we we buckled down. We did some hard work. We've unlocked steel. We built a fortress. Let's, you know, let ourselves, let ourselves live a bit more, I think. Let's see. I'm just going to like go fast research because <laughs> ain't nobody got time for that. How are we looking then? This is all fine. Rox is venerated. This is all good. We could add some sculptures. Oh, there's a fucking goose right there. Okay. Well, I mean... We gotta do that. Blessed, blessed goose. Blessed, blessed goose. And then we'll call the other statue instead of tribal sculpture. Um, yeah, as close to a rocks as I could reasonably get. Okay, well, that's good enough. Close to rocks as I could. Done. New rocks worship. I really should have changed the narrative, but this is fine. Okay, hopefully no more people will be running wild, crying or complaining about some made up stuff in their mind. No, not that there's anything wrong with astrology. It's just, you know, let's keep it elsewhere. <laughs> oh my god, Mercury is in retrograde. I'm just gonna go fucking wild. Absolute idiot moron. Yeah, go wild then. Go wild and you'll get eaten by a big old snake. I don't think there are any predators on this map. In fact, the only technically predator on this map is <laughs> Natalie. <laughs> Back upon the next judge generation, 12 construction on you is amazing. Obviously, you're still, I mean, tough as nails. Incredible. You're also quite good. You're waiting for someone to come play a card game with you. Man, if only there was someone nearby, huh? Idiot. You know what? Ungus Redemption up. Up to 8.8 shooting. Maybe we put a little mining in there too. Maybe we give you a little mining for a while. Oh, sorry. Everybody but Copilot apparently had three hours of recreation. That's far enough then. Sorry. You were being treated differently. Gert has natural degradation. Oh, God. For Gert is actually falling apart. You know what? I think it's time for some upgrades. We're, we're long overdue a raid. Honestly, I think it's kind of broken because nobody's turning up. But that's fine. We can work it out. Okay. All in on the quarrying. Why you weren't on quarrying, I'll never understand. We're going to uh, probably increase it for... Who was it? Ungus. 
Little sweet Ongus Bungus the second. I'm also going to put you on Quarian just so you can actually get in touch with a skill. All we need is a shitload of iron. Shitload of iron means a shitload of components. And with a shitload of components, I can build some magic weapons from brand new Castle Goosebond. Speaking of which, I just built a, uh, I don't know if you could call it a hospital, but certainly somewhere where people can be medically tended. Ah, oh, we finally finished with the storage then. Very good. Uh, look, I do actually need pumpkins for one of the soups because I, I decided up in, uh, Care Morhen will start cooking specifically just soups to not mix things up too much. I do want this scribe table though. Is this the thing that lets us do the deep drilling? Sure, let's go for it. Three whole medieval components. My god, Boozex, you do work fast. Stop playing one. Make some more medieval components, damn you, old man. Sam has a go frenzy, huh? Yeah, I, I got a go frenzy too, my friend. Go to bed, frenzy. Grace, where are you taking that? Five medieval components. Oh, Boozex. Oh, Boozex, my friend. What are you lacking? Let me let me make your life a bit bit easier. What do you want? You you want dark wood, you want steel, and you want uh what what's the other one? Like linen or cloth? Just cloth, that's fine. Please, I just want some progress. <laughs> Play anything. I'll take anything at this point for Christ's sake. Steel. Steel ingot. I look, I quite like the idea of adding all the crafting chains to make things a uh, much more in-depth process on paper, and then I actually play it, and I'm like, Jesus Christ, I've spent the last three hours watching some people mining ingots in a quarry that I can then turn into six other things to turn to other things to make other things. I don't need that. Uh, it's occurred to me I really do not need that in my life. Moon cloth? What the hell kind of Japanese stuff is that? I don't need moon cloth. I need regular, regular ground cloth. Give me that. Give me some uh, wood, please. Where is the wood? We out of wood? What the hell do you mean? We got shitloads of wood. Get that, get that hauled. Oh, he's absolutely flying now. Look at this. Look at him go. What's he doing? <gasps> Making more cloth. Oh my god, Boozax. You are the prop holding this 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 achy breaky colony together. Achy breaky literally, but it's a retirement home. This is like an uh, this is like a, a cruise. Dina in labor. Oh my god, Dina. This is the oh, this is the next the next generation of the Bungus Dynasty. Oh my god, go lie down. Go, 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 be fast. Giving birth, not on the doorstep, you're not. Are we about to see a tentacle bungus? Oh my god, this could be... Uh, uh, could you imagine if Ungus came back now? What would he say? What would he think? Probably not a lot. He was a caveman. Here, lie down, and then gather for Babby to be formed. I thought the dynasty was extinct, but this is it. Obviously, we haven't got anyone else for this kid to marry, so really, we are... We're up against it again. <laughs> Bro, why are you people not wearing clothes? I don't understand. It's because they're not on shelves? Could we fill the shelves with socks? Just put some bloody clothes on. They can equip it off the floor. Weird, weird ass people. Really weird, strange people. I tell you, they're weird ass people because I can see it as they walk away. Please put some trousers on. They recruited. Oh my god! Wait. Oh my god! You can get around unwavering by enslaving them first. Oh shit! You know what? I'm happy to see it. Thank you. I actually did go as far to give him a house. I don't know whether it will have unassigned at this point, but I give him a house like like here. Uh, where did, where did I put you in the end? Yeah, it was right here. So we can flip it back over to regular colonists. Here you go, my friend. I felt bad. I felt bad that I kept him for all these years when I said we weren't going to have slaves in the colony. I was just wanting to work off his debt. And then he just kind of never left. I'm going to have to hit you with Kawa's stick, though. I hope you understand. That's kind of how it goes. It's everybody but Omani. Should I just like, have you executed? To be honest, you're really scary. <laughs> Ooh, but it's the progress bar part of Perganat. Go. Babby to be formed any moment now. And... Boom. Oh my god. Baby stench fling. No, you're a bungus. I'm sorry, you're a bungus. Chronically ill. Entomophobia. Intense fear of insects. Oh my god, you're shit. Gets ill quite often. Permanent mood effect minus three. Rest rate is down by 10%. Immune to gain is down by 10%. Oh my god, you're terrible. No, you can stay a stench flinger. That's fine. We can try again. <laughs> you're terrible. <gasps> Mrs. Rocks, thank you. What, what genes did you inherit then? Oh, but you've got super immunity. What the hell is Venom Melee? And who did you get that from? Was that your mother's side of things? Oh, I can't keep up. Hold on. You also had Venom immunity. You also had something called Dirt Metabolism. Produces dirt on the ground. <laughs> what are you talking about? So that must be from all from Gash, right? I can't keep up with this family. True, my God. So this is Mecha Nugget, Boozax Bungus' child. Obviously, Dina Stengefling. Roxanne's grandchild. Chicken Robo's grandchild. Gash Flinger and King Stench. There you go. Daichi Stench Cat and Ongus Potato are the uncles. Oh, everybody's related. I've brought it back full circle, haven't I? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I need a degree in cryptology to figure this one out. Jesus Christ.
Even the people who weren't originally part of the tree, where they've all married back in. <laughs> Literally everybody's related. The only person who isn't is Ruthless and Omani and the people who died. So sorry. Do we have to remember Chuck and Uncle's like that? Can you not even keep their head in the preview? I mean, show them at their prime. Current status effects on Ungus. Bungus uncovered groin. My brother in Christ, you're a corpse. You're a corpse. You were eaten by the vultures a hundred years ago. What are you complaining for? Have you noticed, though, that Boozax and Disaster are not gaining any other aging negatives? In fact, Boozax hasn't had any. Obviously, Disaster had those cataphracts that dis cataracts that disappeared. Oh, I think uh, is almost gone. Old age is up to extreme. Oh, Gert Bungus. You were the best of us. You were the firstborn, right? You were the first ever child born in this colony. Oh, my God. I thought it was disaster, but it wasn't disaster, was it? Disaster, I just remember more because disaster had the worms. What am I going to name baby Stenchfling? I'm going to name you Sickly. Sickly Stenchfling. It's technically st Sickly Stenchfling Boozex Bungus, but I can't fit all of that in unless somebody wants to make a mod quickly. Oh, Gertz. Gertz got to be like any day now. 99% when it hurts 100, you just straight up die. Like what happens here? You've got natural degradation of the brain up to major. She is, like, so close to just dropping down dead. But look at her go right at the very end, going out of her way to refill and make sure the lights stay on. Oh, no. Gert Bungus also got mortality, as if she wasn't already on the way out. The rocks is like, no, this is definitely your time. Here's old age mortality, and your brain is going to degrade. Oh, Jesus. She's still fighting to the bitter end, though. Look at that self-tending. It's quite a 0% quality. Yeah, I wonder why. Oh my god, and there we go. She collapsed on the way out of the castle. Gert, sweet, precious, gifted, Gert is dead. Our first ever colonist born in this colony is gone. Oh my god. And and Mrs. Rocks and Grace are both dazed. It's the power of the rocks. It's the power of the rocks. They can sense it because they are majestic, magical beasts. Disaster has clearly just wheeled past to go and tell the rest of the colony that her sister has died. What happened there? Oh my god, that's the wild person. And of course, we will bury you in the, the family bungus burial grounds. I, th I suppose now this is officially one whole generation we've rotated, right? Like, this is, this is it. What just happened? Ruthless just broke down mid funeral and turn the whole thing off but also she got her ass handed to her which is fair enough to be honest who was that inigo oh my god inigo could not believe the disgusting display at her older sister's funeral and sliced her across both ears oh my god a little off the top okay let's try that again can we even have another funeral it's not empty oh christ oh no have you just ruined that funeral Oh my god, she's ruined the funeral. I can't take the body out. You shit. Oh, you absolute shit. To, to, to destroy the funeral of the colony's firstborn? Honestly? Die. Just, just die. No, no, no. Blackfield, leave her. She's not worth it. She's not worth it. Ruthless, I cannot believe you would do this. Ruthless sphincter. Execution? Should we have an execution? Because that's like that's like so many levels of fucked up. Because now we can't give her a proper burial. That was a sacred burial and you have ruined it. It's one thing to defile a funeral. Another to defile the firstborn. Another another to defile the firstborn on the sacred bungus burial grounds. Oh no. No recent conquest. I, I, I'm about to give you some very bloodthirsty res results. Don't you worry. For the heinous and un- Thinkably fucked up crime. I can't even execute you because Inigo slashed you to pieces so well. <laughs> Fine. Fine. Bring her back. What's the baby doing in the prison? Sorry. There's more to explain that to me. Inigo, somebody, anybody nearby, please get this child. Gash, that's your granddaughter there, if I'm not mistaken. Please go and yeah, put them somewhere safe. What the hell's wrong with you? What are you doing, though? Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put it in the prison with the person named Ruthless who at a funeral just tried to kill some people. I, that's not somewhere safe. I don't know if you're aware of this. Place them in the crib. Thank you. 
Jesus Christ, these people. What are you doing? Oh my God, it's a temperature. Oh, I see, because this has a passive cooler in it and not enough windows. There is a window, though. Ooh, very weird. Okay, maybe we'll just put another passive cooler in here and that'll shut him up. For the unthinkable crime of defiling the holy bungus burial grounds for interrupting the burial of our original colonist. Or, you know, the colonist was actually born here. To death. To death with you. Satisfying. Yeah, no, it was satisfying. Due to the poor quality of the original, no development points were gained. You know what? I'll, I'll take that. I'll actually take that. No burial. No burial for her. She gets no sky burial. We just dump her in the river and let her rot. Yes, disaster. It's not... You know, vengeance isn't necessarily the right path. But you know what? That's good enough. Okay, we shouldn't be happy about this, but Honor demanded it. And I feel like Bungus up there in the sky, Ongus Bungus and Chuck Rock, they're looking down at us and they're saying, yeah, thanks for that. Appreciate it. Oh my God, what the fuck? <laughs> Okay, you can stop. We're good now. Thank you, fella. I, you know, I just thought do it forever because you'd be able to use it up faster than we'll harvest it. But in hindsight, we'll get rid of this one then. They built it. I was trying to figure out where the hell all the components went because the advanced research bench takes 25, but they've actually built it. Oh, my God. I want the amber stuff, though. It's 300 gold per weapon. Oh, my good God. And then we've got an amber... Imp Enchanted Grimoire that has some sort of magic associated with it, which is cool as hell. The War Spear, Amber Warhammer, Amber Longsword. Okay, so this will be the gift from, in, in exchange for, of course, uh, resources, food, recruits, up to Castle uh, Care Morhen uh, for, the, for the Gooseborn School. In exchange for that, we will provide them with magic weapons that they themselves cannot craft. I think that is an absolutely fair trade. And of course, they will be defended if there is any raiders. And you know what else we can do for a defense against bloody raiders? We can slap down some of these castle towers. Problem is, currently mine for the bricks and mine for this at the same time, but that's all right. Let's get to work on this because this seems very cool. I don't think we've got enough gold. I don't think we'll ever have enough gold. <laughs> Let's gather in to celebrate ooh, someone best here in Sam's, I think. Happy day. Happy day. Here we go. Mrs. Rocks has turned up for this one. Honestly, either Rocks is acceptable. They are both very blessed Rocks indeed. Oh, Laura, I do declare. Look at you. <laughs> you got such a weird aesthetic. Oh my god, they built the other research table as well. I didn't even notice. We got 26 more basic components we're set on, apparently. Oh, apparently. Oh, so we do. Look at that. Hey. I mean, something somewhere must be working. I've set things up correctly. Uh, I'm happy with it. What I have done, I didn't realize that was built, to be honest with you, but I have set the research priorities to be much higher. I dropped it down for a lot of people so that we can just hopefully blitz through some of the more basic stuff. Like, what the fuck are you doing, though, right now, if not researching? What are you doing? Examining gold. Okay, well, I mean, that is researching, so fair enough. To be fair, I did select jewelry. Oh, my God, but there was that thing, though. Ballista repeater. Oh, that looks way cooler. Ah, never mind. What the hell do you mean unlocks mining? What, we can get this from a mine shaft? You are about to blow this whole thing wide open because I'm not gonna lie, I can't deal with this quarry anymore. There are so many different ores in Unrimworld. Look at the state of it. <laughs> We've got ores I don't even fucking recognize. We've got two different types of mithril. One's just Plasteel that I renamed. Don't tell anyone. Because it's Unrimworld. You kind of Plasteel in, in, in Unrimworld because that's from Rimworld. So I just... Renamed it to Mithril. And then I didn't realize there was already a Mithril, but I can't merge them because they do different things. So now we've got Mithril, and then we've got like Fool's Mithril. That's a big brain play. Is it, are you Mithril? I'll, I'll rename my Mithril. It's okay. I'll bow to you. There you go. See? Good as new. Uh, anyway, it's still far too much shit, so this actually might be a total game changer. Dickly became a child, miraculously. That's quite impressive. Uh, no, you can stay a colonist against my better judgment. Oh, why are you wearing the ninja hood already? Oh, this child means violence. <laughs> oh. And you've also inherited the crafting gene? Where have you inherited that from? Is that all the way from Boozax? It must be, because that's the only person who's had great crafting. Right? Hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry, i got to check your history here. Great-grandfather is... Uh, it's all the way from Boozax himself. That is cool as hell. And I might actually have you following in his footsteps. You can't be a fighter because you're a sickly little shit, but we can make you do crafting for sure. Maybe you could even join Goose School and be a backup in case anything happens, dare I say it, to old man Boozax. That's so cool. Where are you, sickly? Um, let's throw you on 
Oh, you got a passion in crafting, but you haven't got a passion in any of the other skills. I don't think that's quite right. Oh, it's because you're too young. Fair enough. Um, well, let's just have you do learning then. Oh, little fella. You don't need trousers when you've got such a big brain. That's not legal advice. I'm not a lawyer. Don't take my word for that, for Christ's sake. Boom. Mining. Oh, the things we can do with that. Let's re-roll again, because that worked really well for us. Oh, this is all crap. Um, give me that thing. Give me that thing, because I think we've almost got the resources to do it. Then hang on. If we go to the production tab here, uh, mine. Mine shaft. It's 10 basic components. Guess what? I've already got queued up. That's goddamn right. All the components we could ever need. Boom. Couple of those couldn't hurt. Let's expand that fence round, because we don't want stupid children jumping into my damn mine shaft. And I have to kill the ender dragon. Why don't you... Leave. <laughs> I was going to say kill these nuts, and then I realized it was an awful, awful thing to say. We've got 3,000 iron ore. Shut the quarry down. Shut this shit down. It's just giving us loads of crap. It's giving us so much crap that I just simply do not need. I need the iron ore. That's good. I don't need everything else that comes with it, because our colony wealth, I can't even, I don't even want to check. Uh oh. It's 450. Uh, sorry, 500,000. Thank God the storyteller is clearly on holiday. I'm not sure what the hell's going on with that. What are we on right now? Perry. Perry. What's happening, fella? Oh, it's Cassandra. Sorry, obviously it's Cassandra. What's going on, though? Well, tell me your secrets. What's happening? Cassandra. She is on 121% threat scale, which I think is, like, slightly below blood and dust or strife to survive. It doesn't really matter. The point is she should be clapping our cheeks. But instead, she's doing nothing. She's clapping quietly in the background. Rather sad, sarcastic round of applause for all my efforts and nothing to show for it. What's the point of building massive goose castle where you train super warriors if they haven't got anyone to kill? Damn, that castle looks so much better than Ohm's castle. God, I hate Ohm. What a loser. Get some design sense, stinky. Well, you could just mine iron. Whoa, what? You could just straight up mine iron instead of iron ore. Well, that'll save me time. <laughs> what? Okay. I guess head cannon, they're mining it, and then they're also refining it while they're down there because there's also, like, coal right there. Fair enough. Okay, well, that's great, because that's such a time saver. Um, lead, tin, copper. I haven't found any use for, so we won't bother with that one. We can also just get, like, 25 coal chunks instead of a coal chunk. We can't get gold. Ooh, that's the one thing I fucking need. And it's 4 a.m. My brain is melting out of my nose, because I've played so much room all today, because of course I had to pre-record this. Thank you for bearing with me over the past few days while I have been frantically recording a tremendous amount of Rimworld. My god. And look, the progress really does speak for itself. Castle Gooseborn is, is is so much nicer than anything else so far. I've got to bring the rest of the colony up to its standards. We've got steel. We've got weapons. And, and, and I would say a big part of... You know, this colony's development actually happened. The, the first ever colonist born to this colony has passed away. The Bungus Dynasty lives on. Well, sort of. Stench fling, obviously, we're not counting as a bungus, but we've got the potential for it to live even further. The next generation is, is pretty good. This kid's already up to 11 crafting. I've only just started training them, so clearly there's plenty of potential here. I'm happy with the development. Even though it's been a bit hodgepodge over the last few days, this has gone pretty well. I'm hoping that we'll be back to regular schedule tomorrow as you are watching this video, unless I sleep for three days solid instead which is very very likely hey thank you for joining me hope you're enjoying it nonetheless i think the base design is coming a, a long way but it has been a massive distraction what i may also do is tweak the mortality rates i think people need to start slowing down and they need to start really dying at the age of 70 because this is this is not right they shouldn't be living far into their 80s it's slowing the whole thing down and it's really overshadowing the younger generations by having to effectively babysit the older generations right so i will Start doing some tweaks out. Obviously, I'll have to fix whatever's going on in the storyteller. I'll take a look. I have some theories, but I'll, I'll, I'll look around and just double check that. Thank you, of course, in the meantime, to the patrons for allowing the series to exist in the first place. Starfield over on the second channel if you're interested. I am uh, exceptionally cynical over a game that I think is tremendously overhyped. But there we go. Thing in a lapis golem, Chief Werewolf, Could Be Sleep, Snow Dog TW, Fizzlebuns, Militant Millennial, Banjo Slurp, Commander Crint, Kyle, Ryan Koenig, Chax, Cheese King 21, Drusus, Tarsus, Magnus, Optimus, Maximus, Tulip, Danny Four, Rest, Chris, Dranmir, Londark, Cryoxis, Dran, uh, Dr Dria, O, Evran, Son Runner 37, Fairy Wiz, Malaki, Pep Fiend, Retile, Catlord, Jai, Taff, and Hanky Spanky. All the names are blurring together. My god. Well, there's been a lot of names in my day today, okay? I'm terribly confused. Thank you as well to Joe Herman Hawkholt, Lord of Sofa, Bleed, Tim Hill, 10,000 pounds of flax, Fred, James Beaton, Juice Tin, Max Soplo, Armor, Watchman, Samuel, Pruitt, Brian, Shacklebury, and Dylan. 
Goodbye. <laughs>